All right, what's up? So I've had a couple of people ask me how I have my trans brake and bump box set up. So I've drawn a diagram and I got the computer out and I will show you <clears throat> the diagram, talk about um, the software and also show on the truck where these components are and what they look like and how I have it set up. <clears throat> so we will start with the battery. So battery here, positive coming off the battery, coming to a switch, <clears throat> just an on off switch. You don't have to have this switch. It's just how I have it so I can turn the trans brake on and off. So power comes through the switch and goes to a relay. So you trigger a relay with a switch. So send power to this relay, it grounds it and allows the power that you have going to the relay to pass through. So once you pass the power through the relay, you come over to the solid state relay. This is the 25DD model. I'll show you what it looks like on the truck. This is the one the sloppy wiki uh, suggests that you get. So you come out of the relay and you tie into uh, connectors number two and number three. So you'll come in, tie it to number two and loop that power to the connector number three. So once you do that, then you come to connector number one and this connector is going to run to the trans brake solenoid um, on the transmission. So power going to the trans brake solenoid, the other wire that comes out of the trans brake solenoid will um, go to your button, your trans brake button, whatever you're using for your trans brake. So you wire um, out of the trans brake solenoid to your button. And then out of the button, you will wire it to your input wire. This will be uh, on your input harness for the Holly. So you wire the other side of the button to an input wire. This is also known as staging input number one. Um, my wire is blue and white, and that is input number one. So trans brake side is done. We will talk about the um, bump button and the scramble, how I have it set up, and it's pretty simple. You ground one side of the button to the battery or to the chassis, whatever you feel like is a good ground, and then you use the other side of the button and you go to an input wire. This goes in the same harness as your other input wire. Mine is red and white, and that is input number two. And this was also be known in the computer as staging input number two. So that's your bump box and scramble. It's just how you configure it in the computer. Next, we're gonna look at the output. So this will be in the same harness as your input wires, will be um, gray wires with a stripe. So mine is a, a gray and black wire and it's a pulse width negative. So it'll be a P minus. So you pick whatever wire you're gonna use and you run it to connector number four on the solid state relay. I'll show you what that looks like on the truck but that's where your output goes on the solid state relay. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. As far as the diagram goes, you can pause it and kind of look at it. You can also find a better diagram of this on the sloppy wiki that I will um, link in the description. Um, also, this is how I have it. There's many different ways and a lot of videos, different ways to do it. I'm not saying this is the right way. This is just how I did it. Um, Devin Vanderhoof, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he has one with the NOS solid state relay. Um, so it's a different wiring uh, diagram. I will post his video in the description also, and that way you can decide you know, which way you wanna go. I just went this way because this relay is cheaper. So look in the computer. So, well, first thing we have to do is we have to get the staging input one, staging input two, and that staging output. So you're gonna to come to your system ICF at the top, and then you're going to click on the basic IO, and then up at the top, you will go to staging. <clears throat> this will, will not be enabled. You will enable this, and right here is where you can set up your bump box. So um, this is the time-based uh, uh, pulse. So start low here. I have mine set at 
it seems to work well for me but I started way lower and worked my way up to this because you don't want to you know bump through your garage or whatever so you enable this and what that's going to do is that's going to give you three um, it, um, it's going to give you two inputs and one output so it's going to it'll look like this you'll have a staging input one a staging input two and then you'll have a staging output so <clears throat> mine is the black and gray wire and that corresponds with b10 output number three so that's where you i pinned my staging output to and then for the staging input my uh, staging input one is going to a blue and white wire so that's input number one and my staging input two is going to my um, is going to a red and white wire so that's input number two so you can also stack these inputs um, so I have my boost scramble with my staging input so when I'm not bumping that um, doubles as a boost scramble so if you want boost scramble and you have the boost controller set up to be able to do it there's a couple of different ways to do it um, you can do it with raw duty and everything, but I'm using uh, a dome sensor and uh, onboard air. But you come here to the boost scramble, you click here, and that will give you the boost scramble um, input that you can pin. Also, if you have your boost um, set up so you can build boost and you can change it with this ICF, you can enable your trans brake launch and it will you know enable whatever launch psi you want to leave at so you can um pin all them together also i have a launch retard and a rev limiter one um, launch retard is here under the spark table launch retard enable it and then you can use um you can pull timing off the head or whatever you need to do in your application and then the rev limiter one is in the same spark icf go to rev limiters enable it and then you can set where you want your um rev limiter two step to be so i believe that is it for the uh, software side and the diagram side i will take you to the truck and i will show you how this diagram um, corresponds with what's actually on the truck. All right, so now I'm at the truck. I'm gonna try to show you all the main components and wiring this up. So we'll start at the battery. So positive and negative. This right here is my battery terminals. So my positive and negative, I have a wire that comes out of the positive and runs to my switch panel. Right here is the switch, the uh, trans brake switch. So when I turn on the trans brake switch, it activates a relay. So it will activate a relay and it will send power <clears throat> through this relay right here. It runs up and then I have it tied in at the bottom first, but it don't matter as long as you tie in uh, connector number two and the number three together. So. This is the solid state relay, the um, 25 DD. So power's coming out of the relay, going to terminal number two and number three, they're tied together. <clears throat> After that, you take terminal number one and this runs straight to the trans brake. So this runs down and runs out and runs through the floor and runs all the way to my trans brake. I'm sorry. So, comes out, runs to the trans brake, and then come out of the trans brake on the black wire, and we run back up through the floor. And it comes out of the floor it runs up and runs to my trans brake button. So the black wire 
is going to the trans brake button and then the other wire is coming and going to the input wire so my input wire is blue and white and that will be input number one in my system so wire the button to the input wire that input wire goes to the holly so came out on number one went to the trans brake solenoid we came out of the trans brake to the button, came out of the button, and went to the input wire, and then that goes to the holly. So after that, we will look at that staging input number one, the trans brake. We'll look at staging input number two, which is my scramble and bump box. So we'll start <clears throat> at the button. So here's the other set right here the green button right there and all it does is this black wire is going straight to ground one side of the button goes straight to ground ground goes through the button you press the button and it grounds this input wire so my input wire is red and white i think that is input number three in my software i have to look again but <clears throat> anyways you ground that to an input once that's grounded to an input, that's all you have to do on the hardware side of it. The last thing is the output, the staging output. Now, this will be a gray and black wire for me. And you can see it's right here. So this comes out of the Holly uh, input output wire uh, harness and you wire it to connector number four. So mine is gray and black and that's where it's wired. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> we will turn on the ignition because you've got to turn the, the ignition on for the trans brake to work in this system since it's controlled by the Holly. So we'll let the fuel pump run for a second. <clears throat> and maybe y'all can hear all the relays clicking. So. So that's me cutting that trans brake switch on and off. That's powering the relay. So now it's on. I'll press the button. You can hear the trans brake. And you can also see the solid state relay light up. And if I hold the solid state relay and hit the bump button, let's see if I can do this one handed. It also that will bump it forward and <clears throat> that's also the scramble so when the uh, trans brake is not engaged and you press the bump button which it will um, double as a scramble it will add boost to whatever you are commanding it's how I have it set up so um, <clears throat> like I said there's many ways to do this. This is just the way I found. Um, Devin Vanderhoof, I believe that's how you say his name. I think I murdered it earlier, but he has a video on how to do it with the um, NOS solid state relay, which I think is a lot easier. This was just a lot cheaper, and uh, that's what I went with. Works great, hadn't had any issues with it. Um, also, if you wanna see a better diagram of this, uh, the sloppy wiki i will um i will post the sloppy wiki and i will post uh devin vanderhoof's um video in the comments or in the description and y'all can check them out um if i can find any other video that kind of explains it better than i did um i will you don't have to have all this but this is how i have it set up i don't want to tell someone wrong by um <clears throat> trying to explain how you can do it different ways this is exactly how mine's wired um and it worked for me so um i hope that helped and um also i did get the shifter put in and the transmissions in so i'll make an update video on that but i wanted to get the video out so everybody you know was asking about <clears throat> the trans brake 
and how it's wired, I'll show the, um, I'm gonna go in here and look at the output wires. So, oh, this ain't my tune, it's a different tune. One of them I got off the sloppy wiki, just messing around with it. Here, pin map. So yes, um, input one, or staging input one's um, A12, and then staging input two is A3. And then output is, is B10. So your wiring harness might be different, um, but they should all be close to similar. So if you use the gray and black wire, you can, you know, it might, it'll probably be B10 and you can wire it in. I think they're all supposed to be universal, but I'm not sure. If you use the, the blue and white wire should be um, input one. And if you use the um, red and white wire should be input two. But <clears throat> I hope this helps somebody. Um, I know I've had a couple of questions and I hope um, this kind of clears it up a little bit. It's a lot of wiring and and there's a couple of different ways to do it. This is just how I did it. So um, I appreciate y'all watching and I hope this helps y'all out.